We believe, according to sources in the United States, that John Kerry may be looking for a construction settlement freeze from the Israeli government in all of the uh, remoter parts of the West Bank as part of a framework to move this peace process forward. Would you support Mr. Netanyahu if he does contemplate that sort of construction freeze? I think that uh, stopping anyone from uh, living in our land is a profound mistake. By the way, no one's asking the Palestinians to freeze their building. If it would be a mutual, that would be a mutual uh, a construction freeze. That's something uh, that could be thought upon. Sure, but, but if you freeze, would just uh, address, address the is direct unacceptable. question, will you support, will you accept the concept of a construction freeze as part of Kerry's framework for moving this two-state peace deal forward? No, of course not. Uh, why should I stop building in my land? It's my own. So you're saying uh, to Mr. Netanyahu, if he's contemplating such a freeze, it'll be a deal breaker for you and you'll walk out of the coalition. What I'm saying is, why don't you, you have now half a year no one, no demonstrations on the street. Did you? You can walk around Israel. Everyone's just le leading their lives. They had time to reach a deal. You want more time? Take more time. Why isn't there a deal to be made? I'll tell you why. Because the Palestinians do not recognize Israel as the Jewish state. It's that simple. They used to say two states for two peoples. They don't say that anymore. They just say two states because they want a Palestinian state and then a Palestinian Jewish state and they're not willing to fundamentally accept well, Israel as a Jewish state. We, so just, why should we? We've just spoken to Saeb Erekat, the chief Palestinian negotiator on this program. He says, this is not an issue. We have recognized Israel. We recognized Israel back in 1993 with the Oslo Accords. Recognizing the Jewish nature of the state of Israel is different, says Mr. Erekat, because first of all, there's the issue of the citizenship of the what is it? The hundreds one of thousands. One and a half million. One and a half million Palestinian Arabs who live as citizens inside Israel, but they're not Jewish. There is also the question of refugees. Unfinished business in the negotiation. What will happen to those 48 refugees or their descendants, some of whom seriously insist that they ought to be allowed back to their ancestors' homes inside your country? So that's unfinished business. Th that's exactly the point. I mean, he here's what Erica is essentially saying divide the land, give us half of it. First of all, now we've got our Palestinian state, and now let's start debating your half, and let's turn it into a, a binational state. No, it's got to be the homeland of the Jews. We only have one homeland. The Arabs have 22. There's uh, 300 times the size of our tiny state. I don't know how many of your viewers realize that from the ocean to the Green Line, it's a 10-minute ride. That's how narrow our state is. But he wants a piece of that. What he doesn't get is he needs to recognize Israel as a Jewish state. And yes, we only have one, the, the Jewish nation only has one state in the world, and that's Israel. But if it, he, he wants it to be this multinational state, that means he wants his state, and then the day we sign that deal, he'll begin fighting for the small Jewish state. Isn't the, the fundamental fallacy at the heart of your argument this, that you, you're sort of suggesting to me that you might, if the circumstances were very different, accept a two-state solution. But the fact is, you will never accept a two-state solution, because as far as you are concerned, ideologically, all of the land between the Mediterranean and the Jordan River belongs irrevocably to Israel. Well, first of all, do you believe that, yes or no? For, first of all, it does. I mean, it, we have, uh, th this land has been ours for thousands of years. I just uh, yesterday gave a coin that's 2,200 years old to Martin Schultz as a gift, uh, and it's got Hebrew on it. So we've been in this land way longer than America has been in American land and even British in, in the British land. I do recognize that in our land, there are two million Palestinians. They've got aspirations. They're not going anywhere, but we're not going anywhere. So we got to figure out how to live together, how to work it out. Salam damai dari Fakta Israel.